Recently, there's been lots of reports about Ukraine's defence volunteers training with wooden guns. This plays on the David and Goliath nature of the current crisis in Ukraine. But it isn't without precedent. There's a long history of recruits and soldiers training with dummy guns going back hundreds of years. Ukraine's territorial defence battalions were originally formed in March 2014, and since the crisis there's been a renewed focus on territorial defence forces, with Ukraine's government announcing plans in January 2022 to form 150 battalions in 25 brigades. The territorial defence force allows civilians to become part-time members of the Ukrainian military, training in the evenings and at weekends. So why are some volunteers seen training with wooden rifles? One thing Ukraine isn't short of is small arms, with an estimated 10 million state and civilian-owned firearms believed to be held. The Ukrainian government has decided that members of the Territorial Defense Force will only be given weapons for the duration of drills or defensive operations in the event of war. This means that for now, many will have to arm themselves, but this isn't a problem for those with privately owned firearms. It's estimated that there are roughly 5 million firearms in civilian hands, though only a fraction of these are registered. For now, those who don't have firearms are being handed wooden dummy rifles. And some airsoft rifles have also been seen in the media coverage of the units. Wooden dummy rifles are more than adequate for safely learning basic drills and getting used to holding and moving with a weapon. Historically, this has been seen countless times. Here we can see American recruits training with dummy rifles in 1917, in 1940, British Home Guard drilled with broomsticks, and more recently, Afghan security forces were often initially trained with wooden rifles. And the age-old tradition of training with wooden rifles has also been seen in South Sudan. Even in more advanced militaries, training with dummy rifles is common, with rifles made from rubber often being used in basic training. While considered light infantry, the training of the Territorial Defence Force is rudimentary, and while some media reports have discussed them acting as partisans behind enemy lines, they are principally planned to be used to guard positions in their local areas. To be remotely effective, the volunteers will need some proper firearms training in weapons handling, drills, and the basics of marksmanship. The ad hoc nature of localized training and the current lack of government-issued small arms makes this sort of essential training difficult to organize. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my earlier videos on the Western military aid being sent to Ukraine. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you enjoy the videos, please do support us via Patreon. You can get early access to all of our videos, as well as some thank you perks, including stickers, postcards, and a copy of the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle coloring book. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.